Okay, so you're here today with myself, Craig Best Weatherick, and I'm going to be talking you through the automatic loading of images and entities in Phaser LE. So the first thing you want to do is navigate on your file system to the location that Phaser LE is stored. Then you want to navigate into the images folder that can be found inside the SRC folder. So SRC and images. Here you'll notice the uh, images that can be found inside the demo um, of the game that is shipped with Phaser LE. Now there are two types of images uh, in Phaser LE. There are those that are found in the static folder and those that are just found in the top level images folder. Phaser LE treats these images uh, differently. Images that are found here in the top level folder, folder are loaded in but not displayed in the images palette of Phaser LE. However, images uh, that are found inside the static folder are so if we go inside here, you'll notice we've got static images.png, which is part of a texture atlas. Now if I open up Phaser LE, you'll notice that if I open and show the images palette, you can see the images that are found with inside that texture atlas here. Phaser LE will automatically pass a texture atlas and display those images individually so that you may use them to build your game with. Um, the images that are found in the top level images directory here are loaded in but not displayed in the editor. This is useful when you want to use uh, them for classes such as your player class where you want the images to be loaded in so they can be passed and used but you don't necessarily want them to be displayed in the editor. So how can I use these images if they're not displayed in the editor? Now if we go to our player class which is displayed, uh, displayed inside the demo you'll notice that the uh, image that's pulling in has the same name as the path as which it is found in. So the images uh, slash default atlas is the same as uh, images slash default atlas. That's where the image is found and that relates to the file name, or the, the name that you pass in to phaser where the image is, um, is found. Uh, so that's how you can load in images automatically and use them with your entities without having to manually specify anything. Um, however, if you go into the preloader class that is supplied with the game, you'll notice here that we've got a, a class called Level Parser. Level Parser is responsible for loading in those assets, and to do so, you call lo Level Parser load assets and which you pass as a parameter reference to the phaser game. This method will load in all of the assets for you um, depending on what is found by phaser LE on the file system so that you no longer have to manually type in loads of um, references into your preloader which is really really useful and saves a lot of time when you've got a lot of entities you want to use. So. That's how entities are loaded in and how images are loaded in and how they're treated separately. You'll notice that inside the entities folder you've got several entities here which can be found inside the entities folder of the game. Entities that are placed inside this folder, like any images placed in the respective images folder, are always loaded in automatically and will be displayed inside the entity palette. You can also set custom uh, body sizes and anchor points so that uh, entities such as the player have an offset um, collision uh, rectangle. Also our coin and each en uh, enemy has uh, custom body sizes. You'll notice that the green rectangle that displayed on rollover actually represents the custom body size that has been created uh, rather than the default image width and height. However, if a, def a custom body size anchor point hasn't set, uh, it will default to the natural image size. And that about wraps it up for this image, uh, this video um, of working and working with automatic loading of images and entities. Um, if there's anything you would like some more information on uh, or anything you find confusing, let us know in the comments and I can make another video about that subject. Um, this is uh, Craig Buzz Weatherick and I will see you all soon.